Today I want to show you how to install an OpenShift local environment. Have you wondered how to deploy applications to the cloud? How it's really done at big organizations in production? Well, this is it. And this is the open source way. And it's Red Hat Enterprise supported. And you can do it as a developer on your own machine. So let me show you how to get started. In Red Hat Consulting, we are doing a hackathon to learn how to install OpenShift Local and then how to install an, a FireWire context broker to work with IoT device data and smart data models. And I'll show you the instructions. If you go to github.com slash rh impact, that's Red Hat Impact and that's the program within Red Hat where consultants can make an impact in open source. And if you go to projects, there's two hackathons going on both in North America and Europe. So I'll click on this Fireware NA 2023 hackathon. And I want to pull up one of these tasks to deploy a Fireware context broker on OpenShift Local. So it has some instructions on how to deploy the Orion LD context broker, broker provided by Firewire using these instructions. So I'm going to click on this link. And this is in the Firewire organization where we set up these instructions. So installing OpenShift local involves, you can see the documentation here, or you can go and download it right here, the latest version. Now, it asks you to log in with your Red Hat account. If you don't already have a Red Hat account, go ahead and register for an account right here. Uh, I'm going to log in with my username and password. Now this is where you can download OpenShift Local. Notice that you have operating systems in a list here, Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. It's really cool that OpenShift Local supports all of these environments. It makes it so easy. Under the hood, it's going to install a virtual machine where everything happens, which makes it really easy and slick. For me, I'm running Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, so I choose Linux and then go ahead and download OpenShift Local. It's very fast. And all you need to do is take that file and there's a file in it called CRC, that, which stands for Code Ready Containers. All you have to do is extract that into your path. In fact, I give an example here in the docs to extract that archive and then make a directory in your home directory called bin, which will be in your path, and then copy that CRC file to your bin directory. Now, I've already downloaded it here. Let's see which CRC. And sure enough, it's in home slash bin. So I'm ready to go. Let's follow the next instructions to set up a new OpenShift local environment. So you do CRC setup. Now that was really quick. The next part is up to you. You don't have to set these, but I want to set these because I want to be able to use my resources. Let me show you here. Um, I have 125 Gibby bytes of RAM available and 16 CPUs. So I'm going to make the most of that and a bunch of storage. So I do CRC config set CPUs. I'll set it all the way to 16. Uh, CRC config set memory to, I'll do it to 64. Thousand maybe bytes. Yeah. 
And then I mentioned what the units are here, CPU cores, memory in bytes, and disk size in Gibby bytes. So CRC config set disk size to 200 Gibby bytes. And then we're good to go. Now I'll do CRC start. And this is gonna install everything. So this is gonna take a while, maybe 10 minutes. And so I'll take a little break and we'll be back. Okay, I'm back and it looks like our OpenShift local environment is installed and I got myself a delicious green smoothie, so I'm good to go. Okay, maybe not delicious, but we're good to go. So let me walk you through this now. The server is a accessible via web console at this address. So I'm going to punch this in. Look at that. Um, log in as administrator with username kubadmin. And here's the password. So this is, OpenShift is based on Kubernetes, but they have their own web console on top of Kubernetes and so much more, a lot of power and security and, and a lot of good things come in OpenShift along with enterprise support from Red Hat. You can also log in with a, a lesser user developer and there's a OC command line interface if you wanna run commands to the OpenShift API from the terminal. One thing that I didn't mention that you might run into is that there's a pulse secret you need to enter for the first time. And uh, I've already run this before, so it didn't ask for my pulse secret, but you might need to copy your pulse secret right here. Now I can log in as kubadmin and poke around, copying the password. And there we go. Here's our cluster. And we can check out operators, install operators that are really fun to use. And as a, as a preview of what we're gonna do in future videos, we're gonna install the patch operator to update objects with secrets. We're gonna install the vault well, we're, we're going to install the vault differently. We're going to install Argo CD to manage our project with GitOps. And I'll show you all about GitOps. And so much more in the future. I'll show you uh, future operators in future videos. So that's it for now. I hope you get started with your own OpenShift local environment on your own computer. And stay tuned for more about installing the Firewall Context Broker and more about our upcoming hackathon with Red Hat. Thanks for watching.